right there, baby. Good morning, guys. Today is muzzleloader buck hunt for me. Unfortunately, I'm going solo today. My hunt buddy and cousin Josh had to work, and my little boy is sick and has a ton of homework from being out being sick, so I'm just gonna go. I did get permission to be on that uh, private land that I did get one last year. So uh, I'm just gonna try to recreate that event, hopefully. So up here in Northern Colorado on my way in, it's about five o'clock in the morning. That should give me plenty of time to get there in the dark and actually walk out pretty much into the middle of kind of the pasture where they were last year. Um, hopefully still in the cover of darkness. Um, last year we were a little bit later and um, they could kind of see us coming, but luckily we just had a, a good opportunity last year to present itself, so. Today I'm using my muzzle loader. You guys notice I have a scope on there, but I've got a vision condition that I had to get special approval from the state and go through a huge application process. It took a couple months to um, have permission to have that scope on my muzzle loader. Um, but uh, really, the muzzle loader, what I'm hoping for is like a 100 yard shot or less. Um, I do have aiming points below the main crosshair that can get me out to 200, but I think 150 and below would be best, and below 100 would be ideal. And the gun I'll be using is my muzzleloader I've had for, I guess it's probably six or seven years. It's a CVA Acura, and it's got the Bergera fluted barrel on it. And I'll be using platinum power belts. They are 338 grains. And uh, I think I'm using, yeah, 105 grains of Pyrodex RS propellant. The property I'm hunting on is almost one full square mile. And it's a mixture of probably 50% just prairie and 50% uh, there's a little bit of ag agriculture there. Um, last year he had hemp growing out there, so that was interesting to smell that smell when you're out there trying to chase an antelope. I'm not sure if that's what he's got for the crop out there this year. Um, it's kind of up a place where we go camping. It's on the way to where we go camping, and in years past I'd always seen a herd of big antelope out there. And so I trekked down the owner last year and called him, and he was very gracious and. He, got, he lets people hunt out there as long as you make a donation. He's got a special needs son, and so each year that I get to do this, I make a donation to that charity for him. And uh, looking forward to it. The main reason I'm going today is because we've got an emergency in my house. The freezer has like two steaks left in it, and then I'm down to only hamburger and sausage. And my kids and I love smoking and grilling steaks for dinners so that's kind of why they were all okay with me trying to head out here and get one on my own today gotta get that freezer full again all right guys this is the road just watching my onyx maps on my cell phone Let's see where we parked last year last year's approach actually worked pretty well so i think i'm just going to try that same thing again if that doesn't work, there is a drainage kind of on the west side. It does have a couple water holes I might sit later on in the day, but I have this property permission from sunrise until about 5 p.m. and then he's gonna have another hunter come in at six. So I wanna get off around 4.30 or five and give, give the land some time to calm down. Maybe some more antelope move in, but uh, the owner claims the antelope just kind of move in and out all day and I kind of believe him. surface 
pretty sure it was a buck about 200 yards away. And so I just crept down and just kind of like yeah, hung out there for a little while. And I slowly just kind of crept my way a little closer in case the herd was coming. And I did see a couple does heads just right on the horizon. And I'm right at the edge of that uh, crop. And so I don't know if they're just hanging out in the crop. I, the wind was fine, so they didn't win me. And I don't think they saw me. But uh, anyway, I'm just right on the perimeter. So I got about 500 yards of uh, his property. And the main field is that way. I'm guessing they just hang out there and graze in the flats all day long. So I'll just take my time and see if I can get a little closer. See if I can see him again with some sort of a hill in between me and them.
150 yards, a smaller buck was coming to join the herd. He was coming from the back. Here's the buck I just got. The rest of the herd came running. He's about 150 yards. I don't know if the gopher was running or not. Really hard to self-film these things. Well, that was a lot of antelope action for the first three or four hours of the day. Some crazy footage of that running buck trying to keep his does protected from the littler bucks and he just kept herding up his does and sequestering them real small and then he kept chasing away those three or four small bucks and he chased them away over there he chased them away twice I just kept my eye on the small bucks and I kept my eye on the herd and uh, lo and behold one of the small bucks was trying to get brave again and he starts working his way towards the herd and I'm still in the position I was in when I was watching him for like three hours and uh, luckily he was started at 200 yards and I just watched him and he came in and came in and came in 175 I just kept coming so I let's let him keep coming and he got to about 150 and I couldn't shoot prone anymore because of this hill this rise was in the way so I had to kind of um, sit on my bottom again and use the trigger stick and uh, he was moving along and he stopped broadside and uh, took one shot and he's 150 yards and I saw the bullet skip through him, go through him and hit the dirt behind him. I heard it kind of make that watermelon noise and it looks like he ran about 40 yards over there. He's not a huge buck, he's not as big as the, the main herd buck, but he's definitely a legal buck and with a muzzle loader, uh, I'm going to take whatever I can get because this is challenging like hunting on the surface of the moon. plenty of water and kind of all day to do it so it shouldn't be too bad. I drug him whole for about 50 yards and decided that's too much antelope. I could probably do it but I don't want to jack up my back so I decided to go ahead and take him apart the way we usually do. Quartering him up out here. But the difference being since this is private land and this is this guy's field I will haul everything out of here but just in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> 